Hi, I just want to share a couple of thoughts with you from something that really has been very special to me. I've read this a number of times. It's the proclamation written by President Abraham Lincoln back in 1863 as he proclaimed a national day of fasting and prayer during the Civil War. And I think it's really applicable to our day today in that we still have a lot of divisions in our country. And I just want to read part of this to you. It says, Where it is, is, it is the duty of nations as well as of men to own their dependence upon the overruling power of God, to confess their sins and transgressions in humble sorrow, yet with assured hope that genuine repentance will lead to mercy and pardon, and to recognize the sublime truth announced in the Holy Scriptures and proven by all history that those nations only are blessed whose God is the Lord. And insomuch as we know that by his divine law, nations like individuals are subjected to punishments and chastisements in this world, may we not fear justly that the awful calamity of civil war, which now desolates our land, may be but a punishment inflicted upon us for our presumptuous sins to the needful end of our national reformation as a whole people? We have been the recipients of the choicest bounties of heaven. We have been preserved these many years in peace and prosperity. We have grown in numbers, wealth, and power, as no other nation has grown. But we have forgotten God. We have forgotten the gracious hand which preserved us in peace and multiplied and enriched and strengthened us. And we have vainly imagined in the deceitfulness of our hearts that all these blessings were produced by some superior wisdom or virtue of our own. Intoxicated with unbroken success, we have become too self-sufficient to feel the necessity of redeeming and preserving grace, too proud to pray to the God who made us. It behooves us then to humble ourselves before the offended power, to confess our national sins, and to pray for clemency and forgiveness. Now, therefore, in compliance with the request and fully concurring with the views of the Senate, I do this by my proclamation, designate and set apart Thursday, the 30th of April, 1863, as a National Day of Humiliation fasting and prayer. And I do hereby request that all people abstain on that day from their ordinary secular pursuits to unite at their several places of public worship and their respective homes in keeping this day holy to the Lord and devoted to the humble discharge of the religious duties proper to that solemn occasion. So as we celebrate the Independence Day of our nation, I just would ask that maybe you would take a couple of moments to just sit back, reflect, and ask God um, how it is that we can repent before him and uh, bring some unity to our nation. We are so divided in so many ways, but I believe that God would bring healing to us if we would just seek him. So God bless you. God bless America. And take a couple of minutes to just celebrate what God has done for us as a nation.